Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. Well, uh, today's video will be very short and uh, precise. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about AWS SNS, which stands for Simple Notification Service. So whenever we are dealing with a serverless architecture, we are using SNS in some point to send notifications. So it's a very important service to know about. Well, uh, before starting the video, I just want to talk about my background that I do have like eight years of experience in cloud computing. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. And this channel is all about cloud computing competing cyber security and cloud security so if you are interested in this topic please uh, like and subscribe to my channel for my upcoming videos so i'm gonna cover tons of stuff in future so without further ado let's get started all right i have logged into my aws account and from the search menu i will look for sns which stands for simple notification service so this is the SNS console. If I click the left panel of this console, we do have a few sections in here. The most important part of the SNS is the topics. So if I click in topics, then uh, we have the option to create a new topic. Let's, st let's start by creating a topic. So there are two types of topics. One is the first in, first out FIFO, and the other one is the standard. So what's the difference between these two, uh, two options the first one is like a strictly preserved message ordering exactly one message once message delivery high throughput subscription protocol sqs so that's the part of the fifo and standard is like base effort messages at least once message delivery and subscription protocol is sqs lambda http sms email mobile application endpoint so according to your need you can choose whether you gonna go with the fifo or you are good with the standards for most of the cases uh, i use the standard word because uh, this one is applicable for multiple services in here so i'm gonna choose the standard one for this uh, tutorial and then we have to define name of our sns topic uh, let's uh, call it test topic okay so uh, after that, uh, we also need to provide a display name. It's optional, but it's, uh, let's give it the same name. That is the test topic. All right. So after specifying name and test uh, the display name, now the next option is the encryption. So we do have option. Where, uh, so it's optional. It's not mandatory to en enable the encryption, but it's always a good practice to actually enable this encryption so what will happen if we enable this encryption so if we enable this encryption so then uh, amazon sns encrypt our message as soon as it received the message is decrypted immediately prior to the delivery so if we need this sort of uh, uh, encryption then this is the option because it's adding an extra layer of security okay and then the access policy so this is the default access policy here we are seeing. And if we have a customized topic that is customized access policy in our mind, we can change this and we can come up with our own policy. One of just but it's always good to actually create our own policy and customize it. Maybe for an instance that uh, maybe your uh, uh, for uh, maybe your S3 events need to send notification in this SNS topic. So in that case, you can get your own customized access policy using just only that S3 bucket name. So it's giving the least privileged access. So that's the uh, good part. So always try to provide the least privileged access, whatever service you're using in AWS. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna just uh, use the basic one. So. And then there is also some data protection policy, deliver policy, tags, and active tracing. So uh, these are all optional. So uh, active tracing is a cool one. So here, like if you really want to know like how the data is flowing in your application, then you can enable this active tracing. When you enable this active tracing, you are using uh, an AWS product that is called AWS X-Ray. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to discuss in details how to use AWS X-Ray. This is a really cool service. So if you have a serverless application and you are struggling with uh, troubleshooting, this specific service, this active tracing or the X-Ray will help you to actually find out what's the root cause of the problem. So uh, after looking to all these uh, options, now let's uh, click create topic. So within a few seconds, now we see we do have this topic under our 
topic section test topic so still it's empty now we have to create a subscription so how it works basically now we do have a topic inside the topic we can add multiple subscription so if i click here create subscription so uh here we have to choose the protocol which protocol we would like to go with so we have these options uh, for instance uh, let's uh, think about a scenario that you do have a ec2 server okay and the ec2 server has uh, uh, multiple uh, matrices that are pushed to the cloudwatch so you have created an alarm under cloudwatch that will send a notification using this sns topic to your email address whenever the cp utilization of the server is more than maybe 80 percent because you really want to know like what's going on in the server if it needs uh, additional power or something so in that case uh, what we can do we can choose this option that is email so once we choose this option then here we need to define our email address in here so once we define our email address in here and then uh, we can just uh, click create subscription in this way this uh, email address will be attached with this uh, topic Besides the topics, there are many options in here. For mobile, we do have push notification option in here. Uh, so here you can see a diagram that is explaining how we can use AWSNS to push notification to direct public messages and also to SNS topics. We can also send text messaging. So here we'll have our SNS uh, topic and then it will publish messages to our direct publish uh, phone number or sns topic which and the endpoints that are um, attached to the sns topic we can also have uh, or organization numbers under this sns topic too so we can say that aws sns uh, really make uh, made our life very easy because uh, wh whatever happens to our environment we can get notification uh, to our email address, to our endpoint, to our uh, other infrastructure using the SNS. So, and we can also push notification directly to our phone numbers. So this is a great service. So if you have any questions or any sort of query related to AWS SNS, please uh, let me know under this comment section. And I guarantee that I'm going to reply back within a day. So thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If you are interested in cloud computing in any cloud platform like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, or security or cybersecurity, please subscribe to my channel because uh, I'm going to cover all of it. I'm going to cover the technical aspects, then also I will help you with the certification roadmap. And in this way, I really want you to become a, a very good IT professional. So uh, it was a, hard, a very uh, difficult journey for me when I started my IT career because I didn't get any guidance at that time. So uh, it took uh, me many years to actually understand like how to develop this uh, sort of uh, certification path and how to uh, understand the different sort of strategy that will help us to get certified or understand the technology. So I want to create a community where we will help each other. Maybe you are uh, more uh, knowledgeable in one particular sector than me you can uh, help me to learn that i will share my knowledge in this way we will help each other so that's all for today thank you guys for watching my videos and have a great and wonderful day